Hello, class. It's a dark, clear, cold night in Washington, D.C. And because it's dark, and because it's cold, and because it's clear, it's a wonderful night for looking at the night sky, something we might call stargazing. As I look at the night sky, I can see stars, I can see stars in patterns called constellations, I can see planets, I can even see, maybe if I'm lucky, the moon. But how do I know? How do I know what is what? How can I tell the difference between a star, a planet, a constellation? And I have a lot of experience because lots of people have helped me learn. Wait, what's that? Is it a shooting star? Is it a red giant? Is it a meteor? What do you think it is? And how do you know? So now that you have some ideas how you might tell a plane from a star, we're going to watch the next portion of the video where I'm going to show you some photographs of stars. And as you watch and look at these photographs, see if you can understand how an early scientist might tell the difference not between a plane and a star, but between a planet and a star. Who were the first astronomers? While we don't know for sure, the first astronomers were probably the first people who had some extra time to look up at the night sky. Maybe they had all the food they needed from a good day of gathering nuts and berries. Maybe their family had an especially good hunt. Maybe it was a warm summer night and the family was all together telling stories about the lights they saw in the sky. These early astronomers noticed some things. Let's take a look at some of the things they probably saw. Have you noticed any of these things? So the early astronomers saw changes in the moon as it got bigger and smaller each month. And as early astronomers started to make calendars, their very first calendar was the number of days that it took the moon to go from full to new, which is totally dark, and back again. That's why our months are about 30 days long. Early astronomers also noticed that some lights in the night sky appeared to be brighter than other lights. And they noticed that some of the lights seemed to be arranged like pictures.
but with some very, very keen and careful observation, some astronomers were able to see that there was a difference between some of the lights and others. And these astronomers were able to discover the planets, or wanderers of the night sky. Take a look at these next photographs and see if you can find the planet. And as a little hint, take a look at two constellations you probably heard about in library class, Orion the Hunter and Taurus the Bull. So now you are an astronomer. What did you notice? Did you notice anything that might be a planet? Now's your chance. How can you tell the difference between a star and a planet? Discuss your ideas with a classmate and write your answer in your journal. And be sure when you go home tonight, share the information with your family.